How much earnest money is enough? And what is the difference between earnest money and a good faith deposit? We're going to find out when we come back. Hey everybody, I'm Phoenix real estate agent John Cunningham with eXp Realty. And every Thursday, like clockwork, I'm right here on YouTube answering questions about real estate. So if you're on track to buy a home or sell at home anytime soon, do yourself a solid. Hit that subscribe button, hit my notification bell, and I'll notify you each Thursday when I've uploaded my next real estate video. So before we talk about how much earnest money is enough, let's talk about what it is. Earnest money is a portion of your down payment that just shows the seller that you're serious about this purchase. And for some weird reason, most of your competition is gonna use a figure of $1,000. And I don't know how that got popular, but it just is. So putting down a little more earnest money is a great way to stand out. And just remember that earnest money gets applied towards the down payment that you have to come up with anyhow, so it doesn't cost you an extra dime. Think about it like this. If you've got an offer on a home, let's say it's $350,000. Let's say you've got your offer in and your competitor has an offer also. And the only difference in the contract is your offer has a 1% earnest deposit, which is the amount I recommend. So you would have a $3,500 earnest deposit while your competition shows 1,000. Remember, everything else is equal. So what's the seller gonna think? No question, they're gonna like your offer a lot better just because you've got a little more skin in the game up front. So that is why I recommend the 1% earnest deposit. Now, what's the difference between earnest money and good faith deposit? Really, not much. They're kind of interchangeable terms, but here in Arizona, we use the term earnest deposit or earnest money when we're talking about contracts. So that is how earnest money and good faith money differ. They really don't. That's how I would explain earnest money or the good faith deposit. So now you know my philosophy on earnest money and how much is enough. And having a little bit higher earnest money up front, a little bit higher good faith deposit up front could give you the advantage you need to get the house you've been dreaming of. And listen, before you go down below, I've got a home buyer checklist for you that you can download free of cost, and it'll help guide you through the entire home buying process. You can take that with you and share that with your spouse and your agent, and just make sure that everything stays on track so that you don't forget a thing and you can kind of see ahead what's coming next. And oh, by the way, I've got a link to a video below, how to make moving easier for kids and a little bit more fun. Click on that, check it out, and I'll see you next Thursday. See ya.